Have any of you seen Spirit of 311? I'm very curious to know just in case any of us were to. We have seen her, but we had lucky escapes. What she does is terrifying. That's why we found it too frightening to tell you. CSX Transportation, or CSX for short, runs the route today, and the ghost of 311 hunts the tracks. If there was ever an engine with the same number on it, she would think that it's disgracing her own, and would run right into that engine, and then it, along with 311, would never be seen or heard from again. 311 has been trapped on that mountain for 59 years. This year will mark the 60th anniversary of the accident. Many of us engines back in the States have seen her whenever we've gone up that mountain, but not the way she once was. She looks terrifying and evil with the personality of a demon. Luke, Louise, and I have heard her bell ringing and her whistle shrieking. And we heard her voice, but we were lucky not to encounter her face to face. Otherwise, we would not be here today. Just how, how evil is this ghost engine? Knowing what I went through with Timothy two years ago, I think this one is much worse, and more... demonic. I certainly don't want to even think of coming face to face with 311. Likewise. But I deeply hope that someday this lost engine will find peace and move on. That has never happened, I'm afraid. Very few have ever attempted to help 311, but no one has succeeded and ended up being killed by her. What?! Does... does what?! Is that part of the curse of the mountains of where she's resting? Luke, Ariel, David, and Louise only eyed at them worryingly in reply. The engines couldn't say anything. But they could sense they were not alone anymore. Soon the subject of Clinchfield 311 spread down the line. But no one could decide whether to believe it or not. As the old saying goes, things aren't always as they seem. Hi there, Luke. Look, about last night. It wasn't wrong of us to hear about that story, was it? No, Thomas. But it was risky in telling you. Not that many have asked to be told about the ghost of 311. It takes great bravery to do that. Now, there's no telling me whether she'll come, but one thing is for sure. She will make herself known. Luke! Luke! It happened again! I saw her. Last night, while I was delivering my freight train, she came right past me, ringing her bell. You mean you saw... Yes, Luke. It's unbelievable. But the curse has struck again. Who would have thought it would happen here on this railway that's not even related to ours back in the States? You saw the ghost? How does this... curse go? I'm asking this... because... Because I'm starting to fear the worst. For a small little tank engine like yourself, you sure are a brave one. It starts to rain and the fog rolls in. If you hear the bell or a whistle, you better shut your eyes and try and block out the sound. However, if you see the Demon 311, just remember, you cannot run, you cannot hide, you will be found, but will never live to tell the tale. So would that mean if me or any other engine saw her, then... Yeah, that's how it goes. But despite what I said, run like hell. And for any scrappers on this island, beware of the red lamp. For you'll never know when the ghost of Black Wolf Mountain will show herself. No, I wish you had a bus to a bit about that story now.
the weeks went by, the subject of 311 seemed to be forgotten. Until one misty night when Gordon was pulling the late night express. What on earth? What happened? Where'd it go? What's the matter, Goran? Did you see something? I saw another engine up ahead, but due to the bright light, which almost blinded me, I couldn't tell what it was, but sure, it was sitting right there! The crew became skeptical and told the guard who had just ran up asking why the train had stopped. Gordon told him what happened, and he too became skeptical on the situation. The crew looked around, but they found nothing. Is this some sort of joke? We looked around, but we haven't found anything. Are you sure you weren't seeing things? I wouldn't joke about something as serious as this! I really saw another engine! The crew, still being skeptical, decided to report the matter to the police. Gordon, who was still shaken up, puffed away and was on the move again. But as he did so, he felt this strange feeling in his boiler that he was being watched from behind. He later told the other engines what he had seen. <laughs> you thought you saw lights? Surely you must have been hallucinating. Hallucinating? Rubbish, Henry! I saw what I saw! There was lights on my line! Did anyone else see them? No one that I know of. I mean, my crew didn't see them. You were hallucinating. Be honest. For the last time, Henry, I was not hallucinating! <sighs> God, dear God, give me some patience. Maybe you weren't hallucinating, Gordon. Maybe you were. We don't know. All we know is you thought you saw another engine on the line, but you never collided into anything. I was not hello. Oh, never mind. Forget I said anything. Over on the Little Western, Oliver was delivering his final train of the day. He was well ahead of schedule, having left the top station 20 minutes early. He soon reached Tidmouth Hall to drop off passengers. Just then it started raining, followed by mist rolling in with the air growing colder. But then he heard the ringing of a bell and a deep toned whistle. Who in the name of Great Western was that? An engine of that size can't even run on the Little Western. And it wasn't British either. It was American. From what I could see, it looked like the ghost of 311. I heard about it from one of our passengers who was telling a story of an accident that happened in America many years ago.
Meanwhile, Duck was waiting at Tidmouth Station with Alice and Mirabelle. It's a bit misty out tonight, girls. We'd best get home quickly. You never know when the weather will take a turn for the worst. You're a ghost. What are you on about? Nothing at all. Well, it's just... Just what? We heard from Isabel and Dotsie about that 311 ghost. What on pseudo are you two on about? There's no such thing as 311 or ghosts in general. What about Dulcie and Mr. Clark? Remember that three years ago in 2014? Okay, I'll give you that. But other than that, there are no ghost engines whatsoever. Besides, even if there was such a thing as 311, which there isn't, it would be too big to run on this branch line. Remember when Gordon took that tumble on the old branch line in 2002? That just shows that tender engines larger than either Donald or Douglas and Edward can't run on them. It's too dangerous. What on earth? She's here! She's real! And she's coming this way! Who? The coast of 311! Don't be daft, girls. There is no such thing as... Oh, oh, oh. It's... The, 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 the bell! <laughs> what on earth? What can you see, Duck? I don't believe it! Red headlamps? Red steam? Open your eyes, would you, Duck? It's 311! <laughs> your carriage friend is right. You better beware of your surroundings from now on. Be lucky that my business isn't with you. But I won't. Next time, I won't be so courteous.